This video is for entertainment purposes only. All of the information in this video was taken from the internet. I am not saying the information is fact. TSMG Trigger Man was believed to be a paid hitman and bounty hunter in the Birmingham and Bessemer area. He was best friends with TSMG Ray Ray, Huncho De Niro, and Ray World De Niro. Trigger was very short but would not hesitate to pull a gun. Similar to 420 Lil Blow, Trigger stood on principles and would give his last to take care of his sisters, mother, and brothers. Him becoming a hitman steamed from the lack of income in his home, and his love for guns. Rapper Ray World De Niro claims that Trigger has murdered over 20 men in the Jefferson County area, but most iconic he is responsible for killing rapper Yash Bizzle and starting the war between 420 and TSMG. Rumor has it that Yash, cousin, Lil Mike was the intended target but was inside the apartment when the gunfire broke out. Yeah, I forever live trigger like graffiti. He was spraying niggas. Yeah, my nigga died, but he took over 20 men with him. I shouldn't be saying this, but fuck Mac, I'm going bad, nigga. When trigger died, he probably had your dead part of dreads with him. You On April 25th, 2022, Birmingham police were called to the 800 block of 3rd Avenue West on reports of a shooting around 2.30 a.m. The shot spotter had reported several shots at the same time. Police arrived to find 19-year-old Davion Hickley also known as TSMG Trigger Man, suffering from gunshot wounds, along with three others. The three survived the shooting, but Trigger was pronounced dead at Princeton Hospital. When 41st AJ claimed this hit, the Birmingham and Bessemer community were not surprised that he had done it, it was the fact that he was proud of killing the person who murdered his idol. Boy, well, now back to that breaking news we've been following this morning out of West Birmingham. Police giving us new information in just the last few minutes um, about what happened. Jonathan Skinner joins us live. He's been on the scene all morning. Uh, Jonathan, what's the newest information? Hey, good morning. Yeah, we just confirmed, of course, this being a homicide within the last hour or so. Police are still on the scene here in West Birmingham. This is just a few blocks away from Princeton Hospital, between Princeton Parkway and 9th Street West in Birmingham. Now, we do know that at least one person was killed. The person was taken to a local hospital in a private vehicle and was pronounced dead at that local hospital. Now, detectives had been on the scene all morning. This happened around 2.30 a.m., and detectives have still been on the scene since around that time. Crime team tape still up from about the Advance Auto on 9th Street West all the way up to the Burger King at Princeton Parkway. And still investigators are here this morning. And if we came out here, you could actually see still some of the actual bullet holes that are in the side of the Advance Auto parts here. So this was a wide area where this uh, shooting, where this incident occurred. And we are still working to get more details right now. We're looking to see if there are any other uh, injuries, any other victims in this situation. But what we can confirm to you right now is that at least one person died here this morning, and this all happened around 2.30 a.m. As we learn more details, we will share those with you as well. Reporting from West Birmingham, Jonathan Skinner, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side. After the murder of Trigger, 23-year-old Jordan McCann was identified as the suspect who allegedly said he was going to shoot up Trigger's funeral. Jordan had allegedly pulled into the parking lot of the church where the funeral was taking place but was stopped by a Brighton police officer. When the officer saw Jordan had a gun on his lap, he immediately told him to put the car in park and turn it off. Jordan refused as he put the car in reverse, backing onto Main Street. As more deputies ran up shouting more commands, 
Jordan sped off attempting to run over one of the officers. He was later told on and arrested. Rest in peace Trigger.